And just because you marry your high school sweetheart, the first person you fall in love with, don't necessarily mean she's your soulmate or your true wife either. No. That's why you're to forgive all manner of sin, like Jesus said, that shall be forgiven you. I know. He didn't specify that you didn't have to forgive the homosexuals either, as well. Mm -hmm. You mean Paul told you a judgment on gay people, but then in the following chapter told you not to judge because you could be an adulterer. <laughs> Uh-oh, you're not reading it right. You're not reading it right. You're privately interpreting it. <laughs> Plus, it's a whole letter to the Romans, not to you. Not to you. In fact, in fact, <laughs> it's not even written to you. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. It's written to the Christians Paul converted in Rome who met Paul. Paul could speak to them face to face. Right? Paul could show them things in the scriptures like I'm showing you even though you deny it. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. And if you don't understand that... See, see. What do you think Jesus means anyway when he says the children of this world marry and are given in marriage? Just because you get to some woman first or she's your high school sweetheart or whatever, right? Don't mean she's the one for you perfectly either. That's a sin too, by the way, to marry the wrong woman, period, is a crime. Is a crime. <laughs> You're still committing adultery which is why Jesus teaches forgiveness of that sin, right? Versus the condemnation Moses told you, right? Why is that, right? Moses told you to stone them if they commit adultery, the man and the woman, right? Do, do, both of them, both of them. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. But you're also not listening. <clears throat> you're hearing what you want to hear from your religion too, right? Mm-hmm. And you're privately interpreting. And Jesus didn't stutter when he says, if you don't forgive their trespasses, how can yours be forgiven when you act self-righteous about what you're doing? Like all men on this planet, you're blinded equally by Satan and the fall. 6,000 years ago nearly. That's what you don't seem to understand. You're all part of that sin. Whatever it was. If you want to pretend it's biting into an apple, which is not the reaction you would get to cover your genitals and not sex, which would be the reaction you would get if you had sex with someone, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> People are going to do what they're going to do, too. You can't always stop them, right? You can only pray for them and try not to be evil with them, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. So whether you understand it or not, right, you could be sitting just as badly, right?
That's why you're to forgive the sinner, right? That's why Jesus forgave all that was done to him on the cross, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you're really supposed to do, too. By the way, by the way. You're supposed to forgive to be forgiven. If you condemn, you condemn yourself. Right. What do you think the evil was in Eden that killed them? Biting of a piece of fruit? Right. That killed them? Why? I know. That don't even make sense. I know it don't. But having anal sex with someone you never had that kind of sex with before for the first time and him not stopping if you wanted him to stop might would do that, huh? I know. You can't even figure out the real sin Moses is trying to tell you having to need me. And you want to play God to us. <laughs> no. You're not my God. <laughs> no. You're a dumbass man, a dumbass male who don't even realize he's not God, but a man. No. Mm-hmm. That's what self-righteousness is. Even if you stay faithful to a woman your whole life, right? If she was never supposed to marry you and you had a child with her or sex with her, that's a sin too. That's a sin too. She's not your true wife. I know. Mm -hmm. You committed adultery against your true wife, right? You don't even care who she is. You just found a woman who believed your bullshit, you know, that you loved her. She had to like, okay, well, I ain't got nobody else. I love you too. And you had a babies or two. And you had some babies or two. <laughs> Three or four, whatever. The number don't matter. I know it don't. Either, either. Adultery is adultery, right? I know. <laughs> By the way, too. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with one woman <laughs> who's not your true wife <laughs> is just as adulterous, right? <laughs> but again, <laughs> we don't know who we're supposed to marry either, either. And that's okay if you find a woman who's willing to be with you, too. Right. But you can't condemn gay people either. either. Why? <laughs> They're marrying a man. <laughs> the same as you're marrying a woman. <laughs> or they're marrying another woman because men are doing them wrong, like Ellen, for example. <laughs> and she don't want a man. She don't need a man. No. You're, you're a pain in the ass to her. <laughs> And that's okay if she feels that way. Mm -hmm. As long as she understands not every man is that way and she ain't got to be with that man either but still, so no. She has a choice. So no. But God don't teach condemnation of any sin. No. That's a problem too. 
He wants you to repent of every sin you can do wrong. Right. Including condemnation. Right. Of the sinner. Of the sinner. <laughs> That's why you're supposed to be the saint who's sanctified. Right. <laughs> but if you're not, right, even the publican can enter heaven before you. I know. That's the whole point, right? Mm-hmm. But what if we're all stuck on this planet together and God keeps having to replenish it because we, during this tribulation period, act the fool. <laughs> and again, right. up to day six, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And God keeps having to replenish it, right? It would also explain how it appears older, too, from the first replenishing. Right. See, what that means is every, say, 70,000 years, we go through this cycle. Mm -hmm. When we complete this cycle, God replenishes it back to the original right design, right, of the designer, right, including Adam and Eve all over again, right? It makes every creature it made on earth all over again. Because <laughs> it can't. Because <laughs> it can. It's God, not you. Not you. And we all want someone by our side. That's not the problem, I know. Just gay people want another gay person. <laughs> straight people usually want a straight person. Some people can't even find a girlfriend. Some find more than you want them to find. Like Solomon had a thousand, I know. But at the same time, I know. He was able to be with them all too, you know. He had sex at least with a thousand women at one point. No. <laughs> or are you denying what the Bible says itself? All right. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the whole point to everything, too. I don't know. That's what the Bible means. It's trying to explain the real problem is condemnation, right? You condemn each other to hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Death and the grave. Because mm -hmm. you won't forgive the trespasses you can do here. Mm -hmm. Which is murder, rape, assault, vandalism, right? Stealing, lying, things of that nature. I know. But if someone has to drop on you, like my shipmates when I'm writing Gina also had Gina's address and could have worked to her due, for example. And I don't know how many letters I wrote to her asshole, but I don't think it was 150 in a month. <laughs> Unless they're mainly Pastor Davis's Bible studies, right? Which I had about 50 of them, right? So all I'm sending myself to my girlfriend are Bible studies from Pastor Davis's church. So if she found something messed up in them, I don't know what's going on right now. Because even he has to make it sound like he's teaching from the Bible and something a Christian might would accept in some form, right? And make it sound christian -y. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Though it don't mean he is. Mm -hmm. In his underlying ministry. Mm -hmm. 
which is how he deals with people on an individual basis, by the way. Mm -hmm. How you deal with people individually, though, too, may be different than publicly. Because mm -hmm. when you're in the public light, everybody sees what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But if you're dealing with single men, single women, mm -hmm, and all that, mm -hmm, right. <laughs> married people as well mm -hmm. and you're trying to be the pastor of that church okay okay what are you doing i know <laughs> exactly i know you gotta deal with all that if you're a pastor too right and like i said if pastor thomas knew his daughters thought she was wanting to do witnesses and he didn't help us marry he sinned against God right I don't know that he did now <laughs> I can also assume they thought they were the two witnesses him and Davis I don't know I don't know <laughs> but it's got to be two men I know it's got to be two men right it doesn't say not their wives either that's what the candlesticks are idiot I <laughs> know Mm-hmm. It don't seem we want to understand that part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you'll figure it out. Mm-hmm.